Okay. A two kilogram ball is traveling three meters per second in clouds with a five kilogram ball traveling two meters per second in the opposite direction. And I spelled direction wrong. No. Let's have a Spanish dictionary on. Right. The two kilogram ball bounces back with a velocity of four meters per second. Find the velocity of the five kilogram ball after the collision. So the first step, and I hope I hope you guys did this, is to draw a picture. The reason why you draw a picture is the same is is why or is what resolves what Kevin just, just said. Kevin, why don't you say it right before I start recording? Oh crap, there's negatives. How'd you come up with there's negatives? Because it's the opposite But what made you remember negatives? Okay, I was hoping you were going to say the picture. Oh, yeah, the picture. That's all right. Okay. The picture always helps me remember my negatives. Okay? I don't know why, it just does. Okay, the picture helps me remember my negatives. Oh, I switched up here. So, um, I've read right down. What was the final velocity of the two kilogram ball? Four. Four? Oh, we'll get to that in a second. Because a lot depends on which was positive or which was negative. All right? So, here's my setup, right? So which way do you guys want to call positive? The right. right. To the right? Okay. We can call that way positive. That's fine. So <clears throat> we have, we'll call mass one the two kilogram ball. We'll call mass two the five kilogram ball. Now, V1 initial. What is V1 initial? Three. Three. Positive or negative? Positive, right? V2 initial is what? Two. two. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. After the collision, what happens to the two kilogram ball's velocity? It Be becomes negative four. So V1 final is negative four. <coughs> okay. And just to clear this up, I'm calling. The two kilogram ball object one and the five kilogram ball object two. Okay? And we want to find the final velocity for object two. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if you're doing this problem and you want to make it a little, a little simpler, if you don't if you want the subscripts to be so confusing, you can also write it like this. Two, five, two. Five, two, five. So instead of having the subscripts be, instead of having the subscripts be one and two, I switched to their masses. Right? Does that make sense? And that way it's, it's, it makes it a little easier so don't get as confused. Okay? Especially when you have ones and twos and the obviously have a mass of ones and twos. So either way works. Okay? I know my equation on the prize, I use ones and twos just because object one and object two. But here we can use two and five because. Those are the mass of the object. Which way do you guys like better? Using one and two or using the masses? One and two. One and two? It doesn't matter. I like using the masses better because I forget things sometimes. So it helps out. All right. So what's conservation momentum tell us? All of our momentum to start equals all of our momentum to end, right? So that means we have the mass and velocity of object two plus the mass and velocity of the five kilogram object equals the mass and velocity of the two kilogram object after plus the mass and velocity of the five kilogram object after, right? Am I right? Yes. Okay. So we can start plugging in what we know. So before we have two times three plus five times negative two. After we have two times negative four plus five times V. Difficult physics, seventh grade math. Two times three is six. Five times negative two is negative ten. Two times negative four is negative eight. Six plus negative ten. Negative four. Negative four equals negative eight plus five v. What do I do now? Add eight. Add eight. I'm gonna write it over here so more people can see. So negative four plus eight is four. Four equals five v. Nakira, I know my mistake now. Okay, am I right? Do 
you're right. Or no, I was right. No, you're right. Okay. So what do I do now? Divide by five. So that means the final velocity is 0.8 meters per second. Now which way is it going, right or left? Right. It's going to the right because we said right was positive. And you can either say 0.8 meters per second to the right, or if you tell me that the direction is to the right is positive, then I can figure that out. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Any questions?